In this video, we'll be looking into the conversion of NFA to DFA talk. Uh, the problem statement says that we consider the following NFA and convert it into DFA using subset construction method. So firstly, uh, talking about the conversion of NFA to DFA, there are two methods. One is the subset conversion method and the other one is lazy evaluation method. So in this video, we'll be discussing about subset conversion method. So this is the DFA uh, NFA given and we need to convert this into DFA. So first, uh, we need to write two power Q values. So that is the possible uh, combinations which could be made from the given NFA. So two power Q. Here Q is equal to the number of states. As Q comprises of Q0, Q1 and Q2 here, two power Q should comprise, Q is the, the total number is three, right? Mod Q gives three. So two power three gives eight. So there are totally eight possible combinations. So let's write what are the combinations. First, it could be null, phi. Next, Q0, Q1 and Q2. Q0, Q0, Q1 is possible, right? Then we have Q1 and Q2, possible. Then we have Q0 and Q2, possible. And then last we have Q0, Q1 and Q2. So this 2 power Q are the possible states. So our step one is to obtain the transition table for a given NFA. So here we can write transition function of NFA 0 and 1 here. On this side we have Q0, Q1 and Q2. Q0 being the start state and Q2 being the final state. Q0 on 0, is there anything? No, it's unknown. So let's write it as nil here. And Q0 on 1 gives Q1. Q1 on 0 gives Q2. And here Q1 on 1 is unknown. Q2 on 0 gives Q2 itself. And Q2 on 1 also gives Q2 itself. So our first step is done. Our second step is to draw the transition, uh, like construct the transition table for DFA. So transition table construction for DFA. So let's see how it's done. So first DFA is right here, 0 and 1. So in this step, we need to consider all the possible states, 2 power Q possible states. Let's write it all in square brackets, Q0, Q1, Q2, Q0, Q1, Q0, Q2, Q1, Q2, and here Q0, Q1, Q2, followed by the null state or phi, that is P. And then let's fill the table here. Q0 on 0 gives, Q0 on 0 gives nothing. So let's write T here, null. Q0 on 1 gives Q1. Let's put it in the square brackets. Q1 on 0 gives Q2. And Q1 on 1 is on, not defined. So let's put T here. Q2 on 0 gives Q2. And here Q2 on 1 also gives Q2 itself. Here Q0, Q1 is there. So I'll write it here. Q0, Q1 on 0. Q0, Q1 on 0. We need to find out, right? So this can be written as Q0 on 0 union Q0 on Q1 on 0. So Q0 on 0 union q1 on 0 q0 on 0 is null union q1 on 0 is q2 uh, null union q2 is q2 itself so here we will write q2 itself q0 on q0 q1 on 1 is q0 q1 on 1 so q1 and null union is q1 itself so here q0 q2 q0 q2 combining these two we get q2 and on the other side we have q0 q2 q1 and q2 so q1 comma q2 so here Q1, Q2 is there. Q2 union Q2 gives Q2 itself. And here Q1, Q2 at 1 gives Q2. Q0, Q1, Q2. So come on, taking all these three, we get Q2 only. Taking these two, we get Q1 and Q2. For T, it is 5, it is T only. So here we have not defined the start state and final state. Right? So Q0 being the start state, let's put an arrow there. And wherever there's Q2, let's put a star indicating the final state. Okay. So here we have define uh, here we have done the construction of transition table for dfa our next step is to step 3 is to draw the transition diagram here from transition table defined in step 2 so let's draw the transition diagram let's take all these states first q0 being the start state followed by q1 then we have q2 here you can draw it anyhow here q0 and q1 
here q0 and q2 q1 and q2 and here q0 q1 and q2 and here we have the t transistor so let's start uh, filling let's start filling the transitions q0 on 0 gives t okay q0 on 1 gives q1 q1 on 0 gives q2 and q1 on 1 gives t and for t always it is self loop we know trap state and then q1 on next moving on to q2 q2 on 0 gives q2 itself q2 on 1 also gives q2 itself so here also 0 comma 1 next q0 q1 on 0 gives q2 q0 q1 on 0 gives q2 q0 q1 on 1 gives q1 q0 q2 on 0 gives q2 q0 q2 on 1 gives q1 q2 next q1 q2 on 0 gives q2 q1 q2 on 1 also gives q2 itself then we have q0 q1 q2 on 0 gives q2 q0 q1 q2 on 1 gives q1 q2 so here we have uh, defined all the states so transition diagram for uh, all the states is done our next step is to define the mdfa value that is q here q being the finite set of states which comprise of 2 power q states right which we have defined in the uh, first step followed by that we have sigma that is finite set of in input alphabets so here input alphabets taken are 0 and 1 followed by transition function that is transition from q cross sigma to 2 power q is being defined in above steps then we have the initial state as q0 and the final state comprises of q2 followed by q2 we have q0 q2 q0 q1 q2 and q1 q2 so we have to mark this yes and q1 q0 being the start state and next step so yeah we have completed uh, drawing the transition table and uh, drawing the transition diagram and defining the dfa so i hope you have understood how to solve this question if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you